Hey champions, got a question for you. What are you risking by staying inside of your comfort zone? Think about that for a moment. What's at stake if you do not step out? The comfort zone is known as a dead zone. Hey, I'm Chris Gloss from Step Outside Your Comfort Zone, where I help people remove the obstacles that stand in the way from where they are to where they want to be. Now, the comfort zone is known as a place that's great to visit, but no growth happens. Think about that for a moment. You can be in your comfort zone, all could be well, you could be nice, cozy, and comfortable, but no growth happens. Peter J. Daniels said it best, that in life, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. <laughs> you gotta get out there in life. You can't be in the stands watching life happen. No, you gotta get out here in the field. Life is a fight for territory, ladies and gentlemen. And here's what I want you to consider, that life is a fight for territory. And when you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will take over. When you get in that comfort zone, dis-ease can take over your body because you're comfortable. When, you're, when you stay inside that comfort zone and you lose that hunger, think about that for a minute. When you lose that hunger, you lose that fight, you lose that, that will to thrive and not just survive. Oh man, life gets boring after that. Life is boring after that. You're not energized for it. You lose the flavor for life, the zest for life because of being in this comfort zone. It's like you put yourself in park. So I want you to write this in your notes. Don't park. Put that in your notes right now. <laughs> Type it in the comments. Don't park. Call two or three people. Call your friends. Say don't park. Even during what's happening in our world right now, the temptation to put the car in park, to put your life in park is ever present. No, I want you to get outside your comfort zone. I know I talk about step outside your comfort zone, but today I want you to get out. I'm kicking you out of that comfort zone. This is a very important reasons why I want to share with you. There are three things I want to share with you why it's important for you to go ahead and step out your comfort zone today. And I want you to write these three things down. Number one, if you do not step out your comfort zone, what's at stake? Number one, the people around you will suffer. Whatever type of leader you are, if you're leading your family, employees, you're an entrepreneur, you're in network marketing, and you are leading other people, people are looking up to you, people are seeing you, people make their next move because of you. If you do not step outside your comfort zone, everybody around you will stay the same as well. They won't step out. They're following your lead. They're watching you. They're observing you. And if you stay there, if you stay stuck, if you stay in park, those people around you will do exactly the same thing. Birds of a feather not only flock together, they go in the same direction. If you're going to park, they're going to park. Everybody eyes are on you. And if you decide to stay in your comfort zone, you decide not to step out, you're impacting not just your growth, but the growth of the people that are looking up to you. That's what's at stake. Is it worth it to you? Because when you look around your life and you're looking for people to help assist you, to be looking for people to feed into you, to nourish you, it's not gonna happen. Why? Because they are in park also. A park car goes nowhere. <laughs> Think about that. Number two, if you, if you stay inside your comfort zone, you miss out on what you were born for. Yeah, there is so much on the inside of you. You're only experiencing a small percentage of what your life is all about. And if you're in your comfort zone, you're not going to be able to experience those things. Oh, yeah, you could golf. Oh, yeah, you could take vacation. But is that what life's about? Is that fulfilling? Or are you still doing things and you're not feeling that sense of fulfillment? You're not feeling like, oh, man, there's nothing else I'll ever want to do in life but just this right here. No. You got to get on the edge of life. You got to get on that edge. You got to be engaged in life. You got to be hungry in life so that you can go ahead and extract all of its goodness that you were sent here for. There's a purpose on your life. 
There is something you were sent here to do and sitting inside of a comfort zone with all your great qualities, keeping them from everybody else, I'm sure it's not part of the plan. Do you feel me up in here? Up in here. <laughs> Number three. Number three, what's at stake if you stay inside your comfort zone? Now, this is very important. You end up just existing and not living. You end up existing and not living. Imagine that for a moment, that your life, you're just going along to get along. You're just doing just enough. How exciting is that? Not. <laughs> You don't want to live a life of just existing, right? You want to live a life of living energy, um, plugged in, engaged, interacting with life. That's where the spice of life is all about. Not sitting at home, not sitting in this place of comfort, but getting out there on the edge. Do you, have you ever tried something uh, that was a little dangerous before? You, did you feel the energy that was associated with it? It was like, wow, what a great burst of life that came from it. Yeah, you were scared. Yeah, you were nervous, but dog on it, it felt good at the end of the day. And afterwards, you felt good about the accomplishments, right? So it's not just about existing here on this planet. It's about living. And if you stay inside your comfort zone, you're going to live a life of just existing, going along to get along. At the end of the year, you like, man, where did the year go? Why? Because you were unconsciously going through life. Time out for that. Time to hang that up. It's time to thrive and not just survive. I challenge you. Here's a challenge for you. I challenge you to start making decisions from a place of thriving and not just surviving. I'm going to say it again. I challenge you to start making decisions from a place of thriving and not just surviving. That will help you engage life. That will help you live on the edge and not take up too much room. That will help you seize and extract all of the goodness that's wrapped up inside of life. Man, I tell you, we can do it and we can do it together. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a huge favor. If you got any value out of this conversation, you want to stay connected, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Leave a comment. Let me know what stood out for you most. What, what, what did you get out of this conversation today? And also hit the like button. Let other people know that, hey, this is something I think you should watch. Share it out with some friends. I challenge you to share it out with at least three people. Do that today. Share it with three people and help them get some fuel for the journey. All right, champions, I look forward to talking to you over in the next video. Until then, watch one of these videos right here.